Hey, what's up guys? This is John Spear, Warhammer Electric. Hope you guys are having a good day. Today we're going to be talking about torque screwdrivers and which one to get. Now, these two are pretty even, I would have to say, and um, they do have little pros and cons about each one of them. However, I will let you guys be the judge. Um, I've already kind of made my decision. Um, I got both of them. So just do this little review so let's just jump right into it so the two that we'll be comparing are going to be the Weha tool set and the Wera tool set all right now they both come in soft case bags all right so we're going to start off with the Wera first so as you can see, it comes in a soft case bag. Very handy, very cool. Comes with a set of 14 different shanks that you do it. So that's another, in my opinion, pro that it comes with 14 um, versus the Weha, which will come with seven. Okay, so about half. So each one of these little things has its own unique little setup here all the 100% uh, insulated with a uh, thousand volt insulation um, Weha and Wera both test their tools to 10,000 volts to get the 1,000 volt rating so that's just a little fun fact um, another thing that's pretty cool about it, it's easy to connect, easy to remove. Like that, all your torque is going to be in here. So the whole tool's rated for 1000 volts. As you can see, it has this cool little thing so you can kind of hold it steady while you turn it. That's really neat in a pro. Um, and that you can set your torque right here so basically what you're going to do is pull it down and twist it to set your rating um, the con of this particular tool is going to be that it's not in pounds it's in newton meters so to get the newton meter um, there is a conversion kit which I'll put down below in case you do want to get the Wera versus the Weha. Um, but it's Newton meters to inch pounds basically. Um, this is obviously part of a new code that's going to require you to torque all devices. So this will be a tool that you will need here in the near future depending on where your code cycle is. So it's good to get one of these or start investing in one of these right away um, I'll put both of these on the Amazon as well so you guys can take a look um, and the link will be down below as well so that's really the only con I would have to say with the Wera um, it's you'll see it's obviously a lot bigger uh, like longer bigger fatter the whole nine in general so if you're keeping this thing in your bag doing a bunch of receptacles um, it's gonna stick out like you know like this is probably normal bag right here so it's gonna stick out that much in your bag so that would be the the only thing that's a little bit bulky it's a little bit big um, but other than that oh and then that's in Newton's and you have to convert it every time if you're not familiar with your Newton meters, which uh, I personally am not. So every time I do use this particular tool, I do have to do the conversion kit. Which, once again, I will put down below in the link for you. So that is the Wera. Um, overall, like, I've done it in panels. Very nice. Um, you know, it says... It, Whatever it says it does, it does. And it works out good. 
the case is, you know, the case is super cool. I always love their cool little stitching that they put on there. Um, you know, it's the rubberized stitch, which is super cool. So, I'm always a fan of that. But, 1000 volt rated, great tool. Um, once again, I'll put the link down below. Alright, now moving on to the Weeha. So, the Weeha comes in a slightly slimmer case. Um, so, now moving on to the Weeha. The Weeha, great set of tools, also made in Germany. Um, you know, they're making a big push here in America, and you'll see why they're doing the push to America. Um, this is the case it comes into, so it's just one rollout case. Um, you might be asking yourself what this little tool is, and I'll get to that here in a minute. So, one of the nice things about the Weeha is it's a lot skinnier, a lot tinier. Um, it's got a really, really good weight to it, like heavy wise. Um, it's in inch pounds, which is nice for us Americans. Um, you know, I know we are literally the only people in the world who use inches and pounds. Um, but it is nice when a company recognizes it and makes special tools just for us. So I got to say that's super cool, super nice. And uh, um, once again, 1000 volt rated. Weeha does the same thing. Um, it does the sense where it is going to be a thousand volt rating that is tested at 10,000 volts to get that thousand volt rating. Um, so the shanks are slim line shanks. So as you can tell, they're a lot skinnier. Um, it only comes with 7 in this particular case, whereas to the wear it comes with 14. So that's something to know right off the bat. So when you get the wear, you're going to get 14. When you get the Weeha, you will get 7 um, little shanks. So this has a slim line shank, so it's one continuous piece that goes on there. Um, the lock and unlock setting... You know, it goes on there. There it goes. So, and then if you can imagine putting that into your t tool bag, I mean, this is how much it's going to stick up. So, if you're doing a lot of the same thing over and over and over again, like you're working on a square D panel, you can just keep this in your bag and it won't be like a deal, you know. Like, you won't have to go around, like, the entire Weeha, or the entire wear one. And I'll give you an example, just so you can see them side by side. So, as to where I feel like this is a con, because it's so big. Like, if I'm putting them side by side, for you guys, like... It's obviously like a whole handle bigger, you know, like you know. Um, the handle is the same size, but this little piece right here, where where it does their torquing, that uh, that whole little piece adds a whole function to it. So, what is the con with the Weeha at this point? So, it's in inch pounds has nicer handle in my opinion it's got a good grip and all that good stuff here is the con the con is you need an extra tool which is this little guy so you need this little guy to set your torque which as you can see right here it'll change the torque in inch pounds like now we have it on 20 torque pounds so but you do need another tool to use this tool, which 
kind of bugs because the nice thing about this is you can just set it right here in the handle so you know they both have little pros and cons about them um, if you want to know which one I actually carry on my day to day it's gonna be the inch pounds the weha I don't have to think about it it's just there um, you know everything's super simple you know um, overall you know I, I I do functionally like it better inside my pouch you know functionally you know I like it better like that um, literally the only thing I do not like is the fact that I have to have another tool to set that tool but other than that um, the Weha in my opinion is nicer um, thank you guys for watching I really do appreciate it um, once again my name is John Spear I'm with Warhammer Electric and you know it's a pleasure to have you guys here um, if you have any questions on anything please take a look below first please comment you know whether you like the Weha or the Weha Weha version better um, you know I'm always curious to find out what you guys think about stuff you know and whether you know this video was helpful at all in your decision making um, you know I always appreciate a good like and a subscribe you know I try my best on these videos and you know means a lot that you guys watch it so I hope you guys have a great day thank you so much um, be safe everybody